Yo, yo, what's up, folks? You don't know how it goes. your boy, Jayco, and you're watching New Music Director. Your artist, your music, your link. I was nine years old, wanted to be like my dad. Um, I always grew up around playing the piano. I always used to sing a lot. And as I grew older, I started to, you know, develop a, a more passion for the music and, you know, for the arts. And, you know, I got on stage back home in Barbados, released a number of songs on radio stations back home. I was like, hey, listen, let's take this to the next level. You know, coming from such a small country like Barbados and breaking out into international music scene. And, you know, hearing my music on the radio is that kind of, you know, a feeling of acceptance into the great America, I will say that, so. I mean, to think that I've been signed to the same label that, you know, signed the Beatles and, you know, even Coldplay. Like, I'm such a huge fan of Coldplay and, you know, NERD and people like that, man. It's kind of crazy that, you know, I'm finally being able to, you know, I'm, I could I have the opportunity to be mentioned in the same breath as those kind of people. So I just got to work hard. And from nine years old, me and my dad always established such a great relationship. It was always easy for me to, you know, be able to talk to him about certain things. So as far as expressing myself, um, in music with them, it's not as hard. It's, it's actually, it's actually uh, advantages. I don't think there's any disadvantage in that at all. I mean, to me, that's just how it is. Like we have that kind of relationship. It's really cool being able to, you know, I'm very fortunate to have a father like I do. You know, New York never sleeps. You'd be walking in the street, and everyone's walking like they have somewhere to go. Working in this environment is definitely a lot better. In terms of you know my life performance, like I usually get out there and I just do my thing, man. I just feel the crowd out, and you know I just. Uh, let it rock. <laughs> Life through the eyes of Jayco, man. I mean, like I talk about, I talk about my girl experiences. So I have a lot of party records, the feel good records. Um, I talk about, you know, the, the the world as I see it. The song "Can I" was a, it was a, I, I, it was more of a, of a spontaneous kind of thing. Cause uh, we were, at, me and my dad were actually in our studio back home in Barbados, working on another song, and the ADD person that I am, like he steps out to go to the store. And I pull up this other beat. I wasn't really interested in the other thing we were working on anyway. And, you know, I pull up this other beat. I just started, you know, vibing to it. And then, you know, the beat of Can I just, you know, emerged out of that. I started to, you know, shed light on, you know, the stuff that I was going through in my life at the time, including, you know, having to, having to, you know, drop out of public school because of my hair. I actually ended up leaving school um, and doing homeschooling to pursue a career in music. So the song is kind of, you know, it's almost like a, compilation of you know different emotions and you know just saying can I get around them and you know I could I could break through this and yes I can and here I am. I think the perception is like everything's glamorous I guess and like before you can get to a certain level you got to do the groundwork first like it's always dirty before it appears clean you know what I'm saying that that kind of and I think that's you know generally the perception that everything is glamorous and I always tell people that like everything about this is you know so gratifying like you know, just being able to be on stage as well and, you know, you know, touch the fans and, you know, meet the audience, that, that's always definitely the best thing. You know, people like Michael Jackson, uh, Babyface, Stevie Wonder, and Bob Marley all, all have, you know, subliminal influences over, over my music. Um, like, it's nothing that you could explain. Like, you watch a Michael Jackson video enough, you'll end up doing something, you know, that portrays Michael Jackson without even knowing it. So it's kind of like that. And me and, you know, Bob Marley, you know, just coming from the Caribbean, I always grew up around that type of music. So, you know, it's in my music, just that subliminal influence from all those artists. Yo, yo, what's up, folks? You don't know how it goes, your boy, Jayco. And now I'm your new music director. Your artist, your music, your link.